and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the brand new flashbacks. It is Monday, boys. You already know. 10.30 flashbacks. Now, I'm not going to rant as much as usual, but the flashbacks have been underwhelming. Guys, my most exciting part of every year in the last years of Madden was always the flashbacks. I was super hyped to get these, like, these solid, savvy veteran cards that were juiced up and young again. Because that's essentially the basis that flashbacks were created on, right? You get an older veteran that you like from, like, your favorite, like, right? Like, so, see if you guys get an example. Like, you're a huge, you're a huge Ndamukong Su fan, right? A huge fan. You remember him back when he was young and killing the game, right? Now he's a bit older, a bit out of his prime, but he's still decent. But you're still a big fan, right? Then you get his flashback. Oh, I get to play with him back on the Dolphins again. Or Jason Pierre-Paul flashback from the, the Super Bowl winning Giants. Victor Cruz flashback. The cards like that, right? Those are so cool. Cards that right now you can't enjoy because in modern day Madden, it tells like Frank Gore flashback on the 49ers. 2010. Back in, during the, when they were doing good, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, that'd be cool. Those kind of things would be cool. But the difference is... When they do that now, they don't give them good stats. So they'll do flashback Frank Gore in the 49ers. He should probably have what, like an 89 speed, 90 trucking, 93 break tackle, right? Like good, like usable stats, and they don't give him. 84 speed, 82 trucking, 78 ball carry vision, 84 carry. Like they pretty much just take their regular slow ass veteran card and put and slap the flashback logo on it. But before I keep ranting, guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that notification bell. Come join the family. We are 60K away. 60K. Yeah, never mind. We're 60 subscribers away from 11,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys have been going crazy with it. Keep hitting the subscribe button. Keep joining the family. You won't regret it. Let's build this community, boys, right here. We got to one of the biggest Madden communities in the Madden community. So let's keep it going, guys. Make sure to go down below. Comment what you guys think of these new flashbacks. And comment, come on, give me a rant. People start writing paragraph. What do you think of flashbacks? In your simplest way of doing it, your three words, what are flashbacks? Write it down below. I'll make sure to be answering those comments or responding to them laughing. And uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes. You guys have never gotten 100 likes in a content video. So let's run it up. I mean, maybe you have, but not, not initially, not right away. So start running up those likes, guys. Now let me go over to flashbacks real quick before I go into the new ones to show you guys why I'm ranting about flashbacks every single week. I want you guys to just look at this, right? We go over to flashbacks. You get all excited on a Monday morning. You go check out the new flashbacks. They finally hit 90 overall. Look at the new ones they gave us. They gave us Mark Ingram, right? So Mark Ingram right now is a savvy vet. He's still solid, still good now. So when he was younger, he was probably decently fast, pretty strong, right? You go to stats, 85 speed. At least they gave him 90 truck and 89 brick tackling, right? Because if you're not gonna give him speed, you gotta give him something else. So at least they gave him that, but this card was quite ass. Because right now with the way this game plays, 85 speed just doesn't get it done. You go over to the 88s, 89s, right? You go check them out again. Deshaun Jackson, all oh, flashback d right? 87 speed. Shouldn't it be a 89 speed? Uh, flashback Jarvis Landry. Eh, flashback Shady McCoy still gets me. I was super hyped for this. Throwback in the Eagles. He should have minimum 88 speed, 90, 90 agility, like 95, 93 juke. None of the above. None of the freaking above. Guys, super annoying. Now, real quick, going over to the auction block to give you guys a little wrap-up on what the value is for the flashbacks. You go on over to, where is it, where is it? I always lose this. Trading currency over to flashbacks. They are 24, uh, 2470, so 2470 trading. Again, they made it so you literally can't, you literally can't get a good value on this. 87, you pull an 87 here, you lose. You pull an 88, you break even. You pull an 89 or 90, you win. But they just recently dropped 90s, so there's only like one of them in packs. The, like, the only way you could re-roll this right now, you literally, they give you a window to re-roll for like a few days. Like right now you could re-roll this and maybe pull 90s and 89s and make money, but the, the chance of pulling them are so much lower. Combine that with the fact that once Series 3 comes next week, they're going to increase the value of this pack. There's not too much potential to gain. Now let's go check out these new veterans, guys. I'm not that excited. I mean, I was hoping, I have hopes for it. But I gotta really start tempering my expectations. Cause if I don't if I don't start tempering my expectations, I just keep getting let down. I set myself to get let down every single week. That that's my fault, quite honestly. I don't know why I get excited about these anymore. Flashbacks used to be super cool. I mean, obviously they're still cool to go over and talk about with you guys, but it's not what it used to be, and you guys all know that. 
my hope bro my, my one hope this year though is that ea is specifically lacking content early because last year they gave us a torrid stretch from like august to december crazy good content and after that they like they, they like they crapped the bed that was it they had nothing left for us the whole year everyone was 99 overalls everyone was 99 speed i think they're trying to temper it early in the year so that they could like the longevity of the game will last longer which in that sense i'd like but don't completely just crap on us the whole year that, that just makes a year long bad rather than at least last year we had the we had the glory months to remember all right guys i'm gonna cut this out real quick i'm gonna go over to when the flashbacks up and show you guys them all right boys so they are up it is alshon jeffrey and demario davis obviously they're not in the block because they'll never be actually really hyped about an alshon jeffrey card I, I don't even i can't see the speed yet but i know it's gonna be super slow super depressing i already know 86 oh, i just saw it it was covered uh i hope this is on the bears at least i did i hate it's on the chicago bears i did love alshon jeffrey on the bears i was a huge fan but come on, 86 speed, at least give him an 88, right? Make him usable. 86 speed, 83 excel, 85 agility, 89 jumping, 88 awareness. 86 catching, 91 catching traffic, 93 spec catch, 85 short route running, 85 medium route running, 82 deep route running, 88 release. His receiving stats are adequate. They're pretty good. But the speed, just give him like an 88 speed. 88 speed, then you can power up and make him good. Because that's what it should be, right? I see power up should be a way of making cards that are almost good, good. That's how I see it, right? Like... They should be a savior for a guy like Alshon. If they gave Alshon Jeffrey like an 88 speed, then you could power him up and you could add some stuff onto him, make him really, really nice. But right now, if you power him up and you make him really, really nice, he only becomes average, which really sucks. He does have an 84 ball carry vision, 79 stiff arm, 8, 78 spin move, 72 juke move, 76 carry. He's nothing special after that. He can't really block to save his life. I mean, for a wide receiver, 53 block isn't horrendous. I've seen worse. But as a whole, a little underwhelming. Let's refresh again. I'm trying to see... As you guys can see, I was looking at Christian McCaffrey highlights in the corner. Haven't been fantasy. It's been a fun year. I love watching his highlights. I love those styles of uh, videos with the highlights. Now, let's see. Uh, player traits. Brace for all hits. Fights for extra yards. Yes. Makes ad catches. Yes. Makes rat catches. Yes. Makes sideline catches. Yes. High motor. No. No comments. I was hoping there'd be some trash talk comments. Let's refresh one last time. See if we can get the card right on there. I don't believe we're going to be getting it. Let's go back. And let's go see if we can go check out the new DeMario or DeMario Davis. And he is obviously on the Jets. Now, this is Demario Davis. He was always a guy that was, like, under the radar. Never really spoken about too much. Very, very quiet. Not, not a guy that, like, makes the news too often. But he was a solid, solid defensive uh, linebacker. And he always had decent stats. Yeah, he's not horrible. I mean, the speed's a little slow. But you weren't expecting that from Demario Davis. I don't think... Is he on the Saints now? I believe he's on the Saints. He has 82 speed. 85 excel. 77 agility. 81 strength. 83 jumping, 93 awareness, 93 play rick. Honestly, he's a good run stuffer is what I'm looking at. 81 block shedding, 88 pursuit, 85 tackle, 88 hit power, 71 zone coverage. His pass rushing isn't good, obviously, at a right outside linebacker, but that's not that's not really what he's known for. He's more of a run stuffer, lay the boom, decent speed. I wish his, if his zone was like an 80, his car would be pretty solid, not going to lie. For an outside linebacker, for the opposite side, not the side you rush with, the side that goes in zone if you play it like that. His hands are disgusting. 15 catch in traffic. 66 man, 34 press. Let's see what his, uh, his intangibles are, like his player traits. High motor, yes. Balanced LB style. Big hitter, yes. Penalty, normal. Now, in my opinion, would I recommend this card? For a budgety team, maybe maybe you could rock with him, honestly. He could be like your guy that you, you toss in the zone. Just like the opposite side of the play. He's not horrible. Like, I don't want to crap on this card entirely because he is an outside linebacker for the Jets, Demario Davis. Like, the speed is not that underwhelming for him. We have a really good play rec, really good hit power, really good tackle, really good pursuit. As long as you keep him around the line of scrimmage, he won't be he won't be like disgusting for you. Obviously, you can't rush him. If you rush him, he won't get anywhere. You can't zone him. He's kind of just got to be like just lingering, like in a flat or something, just right there, ready to make a play, lay the boom. I mean, the zone's still too disgusting maybe to even do that. But from what I've been told, you can put Ryan Shazier at outside linebacker and he really gets the job done. So if you feel the need, go that route. Now, I'm about to go, let's go head on over back to the Madden screen to finish up this video. Check the auction block to see what we're working with. All right, we're back here at Mark Ingram again. Are they up? Oh, good. There's two Mark Ingrams now. Probably someone trying to pull the new flashbacks and go for Mark Ingram. So, guys, as a consensus, Alshon Jeffrey, boo. Demario Davis, okay. Um, what could have been better about the cards? Personally, Alshon Jeffrey needed an 87 speed minimum. 88 speed because you can always power him up, put sprinter. You could turn him into an elite 91 speed wide receiver that way. At 86, you're going to have to spend a ridiculous amount of coins just to maybe get him. 
Let's see. 87 for powered up. Sprinter plus two. Eight, and 89 speed it would, it would is the, the highest. You'd have to spend all these coins, all this power-ups, all this stuff on an Ashton Jeffrey card just to get him to an 89 speed. Potentially. Potentially. That's if you use Sprinter. Yeah, I can't see it. Uh, if he had an 87 speed stock or an 88 speed stock, then you can get him to like a 91, 92. Then he's a great card. I wouldn't mind him there, but... That's what it should be. I think that you should be allowed to use power-ups to really uh, stock up your cards like that. But obviously, EA does not give us that option, quite sadly. They like to just... They, they, they just kill the cards, so you're forced to go all the way with them on everything, which kind of sucks. But as a whole, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you liked the flashbacks, hated the flashbacks, comment down below. Give me a little rant. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, the turn of that noti bell. Come join the family, boys. And if you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes in this content video for the first time in a while in the same day. I'm out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.